and welcome back to another bonus episode of Hail to the Deadites. We've got a couple things to talk about today. Obviously, we are still riding the high from our Lee Cronin interview that aired yesterday, the 11th of April, in case you're watching this in the future, which was an absolute dream. Someone did ask why I didn't get to participate in the interview. So for Warner Brothers press stuff, they want the interviewers to have seen the movie. I live in Canada. There's no advanced screenings in Canada. There was no digital screeners, so I didn't get to see the movie, but Chris lives in LA and got to see it. I'm really glad at least one of us got to see it early and interview Lee. I did get a chance to say hi to him before and after the interview. Very, very nice guy. Very down to earth and just excited to talk about Evil Dead with us. And Chris did an absolutely amazing job on the episode and the interview. I'm over the moon that we got to that. That's it. So cool. I've never, like, obviously we've had people from, like, the other Evil Dead franchise entries on here, but it's very cool to talk to like the director of like the new entry. I've posted a lot of pictures online of me taking selfies with my computer screen while the interview was happening. Uh, Cause the way StreamYard works, they couldn't see what I was doing, but I could I could see what they were doing. So I, I just took selfies. So we've got a lot to talk about in terms of news, but I want to show off a new piece to my Evil Dead collection. Uh, one of my co-workers is a really big horror fan like me uh, and has this really awesome collection. I'll throw his Instagram here if you want to check him out. Anyways, I think he's like clear notice collection or whatever. So he came into the office today and gave me this. It's a metal print of Ash. Uh, unfortunately, I do not know who made this. It's There's a master of production signature, but it is illegible. But yeah, it's this metal print of a painting of Ash. I absolutely love it. Uh, I'm moving to my first house uh, at the end of the month and we're either going to hang this like in the dining room or create like a fake religious shrine below it because it's just it's so it's so good and me and my boyfriend are such big like Evil Dead and Bruce Cable fans like we have to. So yeah I absolutely love this. If you know who painted it please let me know so I can credit them when I gush about it because um, it's it's so cool and it's such good quality. It's a metal print. It's magnet. It's awesome. I love it. It's it's going to be a, such an important part of my collection. So next piece of news, and once again, it is personal news. I finally got my tickets for Evil Dead Rise. Uh, they went on sale earlier this month, but not in Canada. So I checked and checked and checked, and then I checked today on a whim, and advanced tickets were available. So I got a ticket for me and my boyfriend for the Thursday night showing at 7 o'clock. Uh, unfortunately, it is in my least favorite auditorium in our theater. I am very particular about movie seats. I like to be in the back, like dead center in the middle. Dead center. And the room that we're in, there's an aisle down the middle. So there's no seat in the middle. So it's very frustrating. But I got the best seat I could. It's still going to be so cool to see an Evil Dead movie in the theater. I've never had that before. Uh, so I cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun. And I can't wait to just see it a bunch of times and talk about it on here day and night for like a week and a half and probably longer. So I probably should have mentioned this when I was talking about Chris's interview with Lee, but Chris actually wrote a review of Evil Dead Rise since he saw it early. Uh, and you can check it out on infamoushorrors.com. We've also posted it a lot on the Hail to the Deadite social pages. So if you check those out, you'll be able to read it there. It's an awesome review. It's spoiler free. So no worries if you haven't seen the movie yet like me. Uh, it's, it's a great review. We literally had the best person for the job to go see this movie because we had a very talented person and a very big Evil Dead fan. So we sort of lucked out in terms of that. So go check out uh, that review if you haven't read it yet. So next up, this is semi-breaking news because it just came out today. Um, there's a new Ash skin in Dead by Daylight coming soon, but it sucks. <laughs> it's, it's the Ashy Slashy Puppet outfit, which is coming to Evil Dead the game soon, except that does not look like Ash. That That is that is hash, hashtag not my Ash. I, I don't know who this man is. I don't know who this impersonator is. Someone replied and said the Ash face was never great to begin with um, and it looks worse than the original one. I played Dead by Daylight for maybe a month, not regularly, because Ash was in the game. This was like pre-Evil Dead the game and he was the only reason I played it because I wanted to play as Ash. And even then I found the, the skin was a little off. So it's nice to see them add something new, I guess. I just wish it didn't look terrible. <laughs> that sounds so mean because I'm dating a game designer. So I know how hard it is to make stuff for games. And it's hard and it's a lot of work. And you got to code stuff and program stuff and art design and all that. 
so I don't want to, like, shit on the people that designed the skin or whatever, but did they look at a picture of Ash? Did they look at Bruce Campbell's face when they made the skin? Because the face doesn't look like him, the hair doesn't look like him. They have, like, the face shape right, but the hairline's off, the, the face is just off. I don't know who this man is. Where is Ash? <laughs> Who is this man? I don't know who he is. It's scary. So I, I'm very jealous of people that get uh, press packages for movies. And there's an Evil Dead Rise one popping up in horror journalists' mailboxes. Um, and it's this two foot tall Necronomicon box. And they've been sharing what's inside of it to promote the movie. And I'm, I'm crazy jealous. You've got the linguine and the cheese grater that they gave out at the South by Southwest premiere. Uh, there's a little card that says what else is in there. So there, it says prepare for a bloodbath. And there's a bath mat and a bath bomb. And I think it's the bath mat where you put it down and when it gets wet, like the wet spot turns red so it looks like blood. Uh, which I love because they've used the bathtub scene so much in advertising for the movie. I thought it was a really creative choice. Uh, it says fight for your survival and it's liquid death water, which I think is a water energy drink. I don't know. We don't have that here in Canada, I don't think. So I don't even know what it is. However, Chris is the expert on liquid death. He is always drinking it when we're recording episodes. I think he was quite excited about that. And then the mom's leg guini. It also comes with this really awesome, like, I think it's a long sleeve shirt. It might be a crew neck. It's hard to tell. Uh, it says Evil Dead Rise and then it's got a bloody handprint in the bottom. I want it so bad. I want it so bad. I've never given my address to like a PR person because they've never asked me but I, I would give my address to a stranger to get one of these. On that note, please do not ask for my address in the comments or in DMs because I will not give it to you unless you show me some sort of credential that you're from the Warner Brothers marketing team and you want to send me the press package. Thank you very much. So also semi-breaking news because it also came out today. Uh, Cavity Colors dropped like the sneak peek at their Evil Dead Rise collection that comes out on Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, they've got the Evil Dead Rise shirt with an amazing design. The design is so good. It incorporates so much from the movie, like from what we've seen so far. There's a t-shirt and a zip-up hoodie. The hoodie says Evil Dead Rise on the front and it's got the design on the back. And they said they have one other possible surprise that they'll reveal tomorrow. Maybe it's a blanket? They've done a blanket, I think, for like the original Evil Dead movie. I have that. Might be just another piece of apparel. Uh, maybe it's a Necronomicon pillow in the style of this Necronomicon. I'm excited to see. It might just be a different shirt design, but I think it's cool and I'm very excited to see it. And even though my bank account doesn't want me to, I will probably be ordering some of it. So semi-related Evil Dead news. Uh, Bruce Campbell is going on Impractical Jokers. Uh, and from the looks of it, it looks like they're doing an Evil Dead parody. They've got a guy dressed as Ash. I see the Delta. I see a cabin in the woods. Uh, I don't know anything about Impractical Jokers besides Saul. Yeah, I'm excited to see that. I like when Bruce does funny stuff like this. He's quite a funny guy. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see what they make him do or what he makes people do. I think it'll be really funny. He's quite a comedic guy. Yeah, very, very cool piece of promotion to do for the film because I'm guessing it's probably partnered with Evil Dead Rise coming out since he produced it. So another piece of Evil Dead Rise related promotion we got today was a new poster from Creepy Duck Designs. It's really cool. It's quite simple but it's really, really nice. We've got the Necronomicon in it. We've got all those hanging crosses that we see in the trailer. Uh, and then Beth and Ellie in the chainsaw. It looks so cool. I would love to get a print of this for my house. Creepy Duck Design does some really, really awesome stuff. And I'm glad that bigger companies are partnering with them because their stuff's really cool and it looks awesome. So this, this one is a little controversial, I think, because um, I know personally I am an AI hater. It's scary. I don't like it. Uh, but I know a lot of people are into it and use it to do a lot of stuff in their day-to-day -day lives. Um, and you do you, I guess, but it's scary to me. So I'm a, I'm a little hesitant to do this one. But there is a evil AI, evil dead related thing where you put in a photo and become part of the Necronomicon. Never heard of anything like this before, but I thought that we could try it. Yeah, so let's summon our demon doppelganger, I guess. Sorry, it screamed at me. Let me turn that audio on. Or wait, never mind. Okay. 
Okay, so that that was a lot. There was a lot of audio, um, but my setup right now is not for headphones. Um, there's someone reading stuff from the Necronomicon in the background. I, I don't really want to get copyright dinked because there's a little bit of music, uh, so we'll just do without it. Uh, I guess we'll upload a photo. I wonder if I have a picture of myself on my computer. I think I do. Yeah, we'll upload we'll upload my, my headshot. There we go. That's when I still had long hair. And let's summon the demon version of myself. I feel like this is going to make me really self-conscious. Um, oh, <laughs> no. Oh, that's bad. Oh my god, why am I bald? I'm very self-conscious. Oh my god. That's terrible. That's terrifying. Who is she? I don't like her. Uh, if you want to make a scary version of yourself, uh, go to evildeadrise.co.uk slash evil-ai. I'll have that link down in the description for you. But if you want to make a scary version of yourself, uh, be my guest. So in our last bonus video, I sort of broke down who's who in a little trailer that the Evil Dead the Game account posted uh, for a new DLC pack. Uh, very excited to announce that I think we were correct on everything, uh, which is exciting. They released a little game trailer for Ball and confirmed Brock and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really excited for this pack to come out and see people play with it. Honestly, I don't know if I'll buy it. I, I can't see myself playing as Brock or Ball or really using any of the skins because I'm mostly main Ruby and Cheryl. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll have a lot of fun watching other people play it. And if they gave me the DLC for free, I would definitely play it. With my own bank account, I don't know if I would invest in it. So jumping back onto the topic of like merch for Evil Dead Rise, Fright Rags is also doing a collection for the movie. Uh, it comes out on April 18th. They haven't really said what it's going to be yet, but it looks cool. And I will probably buy stuff from it because I love Evil Dead merch. And I'm probably going to love Evil Dead Rise. So why not buy the shirts before I even see the movie? Because they'll arrive long after I've seen the movie. Because um, that's the Canadian Postal Service. Also, the other day, Fandango put out an exclusive clip from the movie. It's about a minute and 30 seconds of the film. Uh, I was going to react to it, but a lot of the videos that we have where we have clips from the movie are being hit with copyright strikes. Uh, not really a fan of that, so I will encourage you to go and watch it on their platforms and stuff. I wish I could react to it uh, and still show it so I can show what I'm reacting to, but that's just the nature of reacting to stuff on YouTube. You're going to run into copyright stuff. Yeah, we've got some exciting stuff planned for when Evil Dead Rise comes out and even more interviews sort of outside Evil Dead Rise. Just some other really cool people in the Evil Dead world to talk to. Lots more coming from us very soon. Uh, so on that note, uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments if there's any Evil Dead related news that I missed uh, and I will definitely look into it to cover in another bonus video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Stay groovy.